Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Natural Skiers. We're here at saint foy tarentaise And Philip and I, we have, well, he's giving me a little surprise here today. We're having a, a little flight. Adventure. Adventure, emotions, <laughs> everything today. Well, we're gonna go in a emotional protected zone, emotionally <laughs> protected zone, as they call it here in saint foy right. Behind us is Chalet Letiet, uh, which is a wonderful chalet where we're being hosted by Lloyd and Sarah. Uh, one of the nicest way to travel the ski world is to do that kind of experience. And in saint foy you have all sorts of chalets, so that part is well taken care of. But today, we're being... Uh, <laughs> taken and to Italy and we're gonna use the chopper to go all the way to a glacier mm -hmm. so that will be your second experience of Ellie drop I know I can't wait I mean can't you see the this the every the, the, the sun is coming out yep. I think we're gonna have a very nice day and we'll discover a lot more of the playground of Saint Fontaine yeah and the plan is to be dropped in Italy because you can't be dropped in France that's forbidden and then ski for one minute back in France and ski all the way down to those old village of Sainte Foy, uh, La Mazur, uh, uh, Le Miroir, and all those very old villages that brings back the old way of skiing with a natural touch, with a pure enjoyment, a different way to go skiing on natural skiers today. With Marianne, Isabelle, Karine, and our guide, Yannick Ponson from Tarentes Tour, we are taking off for La Rosière in France, where after a couple of runs, we cross into Italy at La Tuile to reach our helicopter. As we are going up, I'm scanning the sky because we're hoping not only to be able to take off, but to have a gorgeous day for the camp. The more we go up, the more blue sky we ski. But as we go down to our pickup point, we go straight into the lower clouds. We will have to adjust our strategy. Donc si tu retournes, regarde, regarde, le versant italien. Regarde. Hop. Oh, First, we'll go in this mid-station Italian coffee where I'll have a real Italian latte made by a real Italian barista. Oh joy! The Italians like their coffee strong as they always add to the mix some dark roast robusta grains just for the cake. Back on our skis, we go out of the clouds to reach our pickup point right after some abandoned farms. And strangely enough, right next to big power lines. So, uh... Ooh, now already blue sky. And we can see the south face of Mont Blanc, the Italian side. Uh, you said you said in French, uh, you're the pétillant, you're yes, you're my, boiling inside of you, well, right? My, my my emotions are boiling inside of me. I mean, it's uh, hill skiing. It's a, it's an adventure. You got it, it's a thrill, and uh, I can't wait to be in the helicopter and just go see this new place. And it's your second ride, mm -hmm. so already we can say that you're getting used to it, or yeah. your 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 level of confidence is. You know, your emotion at this moment. Well, of course, it's uh, for the second time. I mean, I know what it is. And I think I, I did a double black at the first time. Yep. And now maybe I'm doing a little blue. So it's it's easier. And uh, I think it's going to be really fun. So can't wait. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. The chopper should be here any moment. So let's get ready. And uh, off we go. All right. <laughs> to heaven. <laughs> All right.
Now all we have to do is to enjoy the ride. For the planets to align like this takes a bit of luck. And this is all thanks to Marianne Brichu who organized everything with Sainte Foy Tarentaise Ski Resort and Tarentaise Tour. Here we are on the top of the world, almost, eh, Marianne? The heli dropped at a place where 360 degrees we see all around Italy and France and behind us, of course, Le Mont Blanc. Eh? We are just at the border, Italy and France. We landed in Italy, we're going to ski over to France, 3,300 meters here, top of Ruitor. Okay, and... We're a little bit lucky and blessed, I came today, huh, Karen? <laughs> because, well, we skied uh, La Rosière and then we went to La Tuile and then we stopped at the bottom and we went like, ah, maybe the chopper cannot pick us up. So, and finally, we found another place the chopper could stop. Exactly, we had a very nice Kohala heli to drop us to the top, reach the sun, and we have a beautiful blue bird day today. Above? the ocean of uh, sky so we're gonna ski down on a wonderful adventure today so in our skis we go right yes, yes. let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps of all the places on the planet Ski, my favorite place for dinner, really. Here you will find the most genuine passion and love for skiing. In this little village of Tarentaise, skiing is a good two years ahead of the rest of the ski business. And yes, we're living saint foy Tarentaise as millionaire. The hilly ride, the luxury chalet, but here. Everybody is a skier. Le Monal is the base camp of guides and locals who will share their secret spots. Karin, who is new at all this, now begins to feel what I experienced five years ago in Saint Foy. Wow. Le Monal is also a superb restaurant run by Yves Marmottan and his daughter who will now take the succession for the sixth generation in the family. You will be able to enjoy some of the best wine produced in France and recently Le Monal got even better expanding with an open flame cooking area and an outstanding VIP room for a dining experience you will never forget. <laughs> We're about to go so, uh, the, yeah, we, we go France. down to the 
uh, the French side of the retail. No borders, no no uh, customs, no patrol, no control. No, 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 no. No, no need to show you, your passport. You don't need your identity card. No, you don't need, you don't need. So from here all the way down, how, yeah. how many meters are we going to ski? Uh, uh, approximately 2,000 meters. Yeah! I've been across the border, following the black road to the edge of the reservation. To Catal, the mission where the saints and all the martyrs look down on dying converts. What makes the water holy, she says, is that it's the closest thing to rain. Stole a mule from Anthony, I held Dan up upon it, and we rode the Coeur d'Alene. Past Harrison and Wallace, they were blasting out. Excel! Hey! Oh! Hey! Superia! First day after 10 days of no skiing here for nobody, that the retour is open again. It's my home. Last night I dreamt that I grew wings I found a place Where they could hear me when I sang I floated on to Hanford A lumber boat upriver Past the fisheries and the mill towns Like a stretch of future graveyard She was driven to distraction Said, I wonder what will happen when they find out they're mistaken. The land is too changed to ever change. Well, Yannick, one thing for sure is when we come to such a heavenly environment, we need to be well equipped with the proper skis, proper boots, proper bindings. If we need to climb back up to find a new, new line, clothing, of course, to multi layer, so depending on the weather. Uh, uh, bags, goggles, sunglasses, everything. So in order to get the most amount of pleasure out of our day on the slope, with the ski gear tip of the day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to introduce to you the new line of on ski for the 2016-17 season from Atomic, the Vantage X. Vantage X be being their new on ski. Farewell to the uh, Nomad series, now replaced by the Vantage X. They already had the Vantage line for Orpist. Vantage X for on -piste. And in this case, the ADCTI for carbon and titanium. Carbon, because we got a carbon mesh on top of the layer. The last layer on top, you can see it through the cosmetic. Uh, that makes the ski a lot stiffer laterally and very light, still flexible, very flexible, very workable on the snow. And the same thing at the tail. We have this uh, carbon mesh technology that creates the same amount of power. And titanium, well, the 80 is built as well with titanium to make sure we got enough hump for a guy 180 pound with 130 boot flex all right we also have a new technology that i think it's pretty brilliant it reduces the the thickness of the ski from here out and you got this sort of scale or steps one two three steps to get to the top sheet now it reduces the amount of material and weight but it also increases the power laterally so it's like a dome shape Makes the ski 20% lighter. And when you crisscross your skis, then they don't get as damaged. So your skis are staying uh, better looking for a longer period of time. And you have the same thing here at the back. You can see from this point, now one, two, three steps down. Creates a lot of power with less material, which is brilliant. You also have in the sidewall something that Atomic introduced in the junior skis to make sure the ski would have a good flex under the foot of a child, which is taking the, a, a, a part of the sidewall off right here in the ABS sidewall 
to make sure that under the boot we are able to gather a good rounded arc. That's also a transfer of technology that they started for kids and it works for kids. And now they put that in their new Vantage series. The core of the ski is built of two essence of trees. That's kind of a transfer of technology coming from Salomon perhaps. Now the two sister brands are working together. You also have another transfer of technology. This is a Warden 13, the binding. It is exactly the same thing as a Salomon Warden, same name. And it is a wider binding, a lower binding. So lots of power and less weight. Closer to the ski, better reaction. And finally, you will have an all-mountain rocker from 10 to 15 percent up in the air. We all know how it works. And if today somebody would show up with something that doesn't have a tail, a tip tail rocker, people would not understand why they didn't do it. So you got it and it works just perfectly. And they say it's 15 meter radius, I believe. Yes, 15.2. If, if you put your heart into it, you can almost go into a course of slalom with it. So warning maybe perhaps for the people who are a little bit heavier, they might want to go for the 83. Uh, unless you'd like to do 10 meter radius, but a very joyful ski. I thought if it was to be powerful, it would have been really stiff and hard to work. Not the case at all. It's really fun to play with it. The carbon mesh on the top sheet makes the stiffness of the big fat here uh, tip works really well. You could work with your toes on the, on the front of the ski to really bring it down to a shorter radius. If you ski it from here out, you could ski it at 16, 17 meter radius, no problem. So it's for you to try and taste them when you see a demo on the day. Rush in, try them, because you might like the spice of this one, but not the strength of this one. You might prefer the other one, we think you might have a lot of fun skiing the Vantage X, in this case, the 80 from Atomic, the CTI Carbon Titanium for 2016-17 season. And folks, we're back to our show on our incredible adventure on our way all the way down to St. Foix. And it's just, it's just a buffet. It's just, uh, we eat those uh, scenery with our eyes and uh, we'll bring back, even though we take pictures and we take images for you guys, it, it's we're feeding our brain with those outstanding images. And we're lucky, Marianne, on the day today, the conditions are just beautiful. The conditions are absolutely perfect timing with the fresh spring snow just starting to melt. So it's, we're flying, we're skiing and <laughs> flying in the same time. And Philippe, as you've all experienced now, this is not difficult. No, it, no. We have really the option, skiing, Ellie skiing here, to choose easy lines, open fields, nothing too challenging. If we want to, we can go steeper, but we have the option. So definitely, when you come here in such beautiful mountains, if a day like today, it's worth flying. Yeah. Taking the heli, being at altitude, just go. And, and don't think it's not possible for you because it is really accessible. And I'll say that you don't need the powder day as well. You, they extend their season like double the amount of days you can do when comes spring skiing because, I mean, we're good skiers, but to enjoy it, it's almost like surfing in the swell because this little crust is yeah. just melted. Yeah. There's exactly. no effort on the knees. It's, yeah. And some people in deep powder would feel a little bit less yeah, comfortable, but, but in this, it's like they groom the terrain for us. Spring snow is only for pleasure, not it's not difficult, yeah. it's only enjoy the moment, uh, it's very nice. And it also allows people who are not ex experienced off piece skier to do long, long, beautiful work.
Hey folks, welcome back to Natural Skiers in saint foy tarentaise where we have the chance to be hosted by Sarah and Lloyd Rogers in Chalet La Tillette. saint foy is of course one of those uh, secret surfer spots in the sense that this is a place that you're, you're actually torn between telling everybody to, uh -huh. um, that you, uh, you have to go to saint foy and and also that you don't want it to be too crowded, so you don't want to share so much. But I mean, when you love something so much, then you got to share it. Um, then that's what you do. You host people in this lovely home, house. Um, they call it chalet, I guess. Uh, for the European, or yeah. particularly for our British clients, which is the majority of our clients, so they call it chalet. You guys probably call it a lodge. Yeah. For, for us, we just call it simply latier. Yeah. Well, we have four, four guest bedrooms, that we okay. each with their own ensuite bathrooms. So the bathroom is within the bedroom. Okay. Um, and then they, are, yeah, uh, in a normal seven-day stay, for example, they would have um, daily breakfast, mm -hmm. daily tea in the afternoon, and then five nights out of seven, they'd have a four-course evening meal with wine, so, coffee, tea. Okay. So it's four course for five nights, and then you expect them to go at Le Monal at least one night, or the Monalia, and then perhaps Chez Marie, Chez Marie just, just opposite, yeah. which is an amazing place, and just I, a short, short walk. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your intention in the design, because it's a lovely house and it, it fits in the village perfectly. Tell me more about your okay. your what you wanted to achieve and what you did achieve. Okay, yeah, well, where we are, the views are amazing. So I wanted to make sure that we had the biggest <coughs> windows, <laughs> biggest windows possible, uh, looking onto the best views. I wanted it to be quite modern, light in the, ins uh, in, the in in the inside with tall ceilings. But then on the outside, I wanted kind of to respect the village, to make it, as you say, uh, hopefully, well, I think, I, th yeah. I, I, I even think it does, it fits in very well. I've used my experience from the years of being an architect to borrow from the style of the old houses. It, all of the stone on the outside is from this village. I have traveled around uh, a lot of Europe competing, but saint foy is by far my favorite place. Of and all the places of of all, of all the places, yeah. And yes. why is that? It's just, uh, the French have an expression, taille humaine. It's a sort of, um, it's, it's not too big. It feels, you feel like you belong. Um, it, it's very quiet. Uh, it's not overdeveloped in any sense. So the, the accommodation in the actual resort is not overdeveloped. The mountain's not overdeveloped. Um, I think there are maybe 15 runs, but it's an enormous mountain. Yeah. And then, I mean, for people who don't know, it's huge. And then you get all the backcountry and, and, and we can see some of your own footage. And There's the phenomenal backcountry, and for where we are, we're so well placed for it. It's perfect. Now, is that backcountry accessible only to rock stars, skiers, or snowboarders like you did the international snowboarding competition? Or, you know, the average Joe ski one week a year can enjoy backcountry as well, right? Eh? If they can ski backcountry to <clears throat> uh, any level, then they can ski that. But yeah. depending on the conditions, it, might, it would probably be advisable to take a guide with them just to make sure that it's all, it's an, all safe for them. Yeah. Well, Lloyd, uh, thanks a lot for hosting us this week on uh, Natural Skiers. Uh, it is really a, a pleasure to meet you and no problem. Like, to like, see the work you've done in this wonderful home. Thank you very uh -huh. much. And folks, we're back to our show from our great adventure on the mountains, starting from the top of Le Ruita, on the way, all the way down to the valley. Uh, as you can see, uh, some of us took uh, some uh, clothing off and that's what the most important thing when you go hors piste is multi-layer clothing, huh, Marianne? You took off your uh, big jacket. I did. Uh, it's going to be a very nice last section of skiing in the fields, but it's quite warm. Yeah. Uh, so we need to be super light uh, to end up our beautiful run down to a secret village. Secret village that we can't say, but we're going to say it <laughs> and show to you. We'll be exclusive today because we'll be some of the few skiers who've been, been able to ski all the way down to the village in the past uh, 10 days. So in we go with our good guide Yannick. He's going to lead the way and on, on we go. Let's go, Let's boys go. and girls. Karen's going to have a sunburn in the forehead. <laughs> Yee oh man! Thanks, little. Wow. 
Oh, it's a sample, do not Yes, sir. And folks, that's Pavi, the end of our adventure here in saint foy tarentaise and the drop of our Elie skiing on top of Ruitor. And here, uh, let's go and ask Karen your emotion. I, I want to know if under your ski mask uh, or your goggles, you, you, you cried at some point during the, the day. I was so close. I mean, it's such an incredible adventure. At the top, you have the helicopter, you have those emotions that are rushing in. <laughs> and I mean, you, you have this beautiful view. You have a great terrain to ski and it's available for everybody. <laughs> I mean, for my first experience, it was a double black, but still today, I think I could say it's a green one. And I just appreciate it every turn I did. So, uh, I mean, thanks. Thank right. you guys, to Yannick, to Isabelle and Marianne for bringing us here. I mean, it's quite an experience for my age at 24 to be here and live this experience. So thank and you so much. Yeah, so kisses maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and congratulations. So, well, thank you. So, folks, if you want to see again this show, you can go on our website. And you can also go on our web uh, Facebook page. Uh, put your own pictures in there. Put your own adventures in there. Uh, on this web, uh, web page, actually, we're going to have a lot of contests. We have a couple of vocal skis to uh, be won by someone. Uh, a couple of Ellie Anson jackets. Uh, I want to thank you personally. Shake your thank hands. Thank you too. Yannick. It's a big are, pleasure for me. Yep. <laughs> I've been around the world and there are good guides and very good guides. And this dude is above the <laughs> very good guide. So. Oh, for your kindness. Marianne, thank you for making everything possible, organizing everything for us on this trip in St. Foy. So to see you all skiing today was our pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Isa. Hey there. Okay, pleasure. folks. Thanks. We'll be back next week with a new show. Bye. We'll be in Chamonix. Until Woo! then, from St. Foy, so long. See you soon. <laughs>